How do you break a world record so comfortably? It's not comfortable, that's a secret. <laughs> Just like to make it look so. <laughs> that she does. But what she does not do is beat Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone, and she has not stopped trying. As you all know, the Dutch's and Americans' rivalry has been going on for a while now. Whenever Bowl inches closer, Sydney does something to cement her status as one of the greatest sprinters of her generation. As a matter of fact, McLaughlin Lavrone never lost a race to Bowl. The American is the undisputed greatest in her event, the 400 meter hurdle. She is the reigning Olympic champion and first woman in history to run below 51 seconds when winning the 2022 world title, where Bowl finished a distant second. That staggering performance was a phenomenal feat, making the second and third fastest 400 meter hurdlers in history look like club runners trailing behind her by clocking a time that would have won the British 400 meter flat title. Yet it is what has happened subsequently that makes matters so intriguing. After choosing to target the 400 meter last season, injury ruled McLaughlin Lavrone out of defending her world title and she has raced very little this year. In her absence, Bowl has steadily progressed to new heights, breaking the long-standing 400 meter indoor world record twice in successive seasons and warming up for these Olympics by following her American rival as only the second woman ever to break 51 seconds. Where McLaughlin Lavrone is rarely seen in competition, instead saving herself for the biggest stages, a bowl victory on the athletic circuit has fast become one of the sport's most familiar sights. It's worth noting though, that Sydney's absence from most competitions doesn't mean that she's getting lazy. Instead, she's saving her strength for the bigger ones. In fact, just when people thought she was out of practice, so to speak, because of her frequent absences in competitions this year, she delivered yet another world record to win the US trials at the end of June. As mentioned, Bowl is catching up, but not quite at the same time. For the past two years running, Bowl has lowered the women's 400 meter world indoor record at the Dutch National Indoor Championships. When she did so in 2023, she took more than three tenths off what had been the longest standing world indoor record, lowering it from 49.59 to 49.26 in Apple Dorn. She repeated the feat last March at the same venue, shaving another two one hundredths of a second off to lower it to 49.24. She also stormed to a new European record of 50.95 seconds at the Résistance La Chaux de Fonds in Switzerland, shortly before this year's Paris Olympics. With that, Bowl now joins McLaughlin Lavrone as the only two women to ever run under 51 seconds in the event. Bowl and McLaughlin Lavrone are so far ahead of the rest of the field that their times in the 400 meter hurdles would have qualified them for the 400 meter flat in Paris. Standing together, but a long way from everyone else, their rivalry will be one to watch for years to come. With both athletes now relatively healthy and at their best, track fans will finally get to witness the highly anticipated showdown between the world's best. Whoever comes out on top, both athletes are set to push each other to a new height. A historic sub 50 second performance no longer seems out of reach. I hope it's going to be a nice battle, Bowl said ahead of her race against Sydney in Paris. I will try to be at my best form I can be, and then we will see where it will bring us," she added. Her admiration of her rival is also evident, even though she's been trying to outrun her for years now. It's great she's there, and it will always be exciting and always bring some nice nerves," said Bowl of her American opponent. But at the same time, I'm really focused on myself. I'm always just trying to be a better athlete, and then I just hope it will bring something nice to be battling with her. Bull acknowledges the fact that while she achieved what only Sydney had ever done, she still had a way to go before she reached the heights Sydney had. Sydney really pushed the bar, Femke said, when she talked about her fiercest competitor, Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone. Well, it's no lie or exaggeration that Sydney has pushed the bar so high that her competitors are struggling to follow in her wake. Case in point, the American track and field star set a new world record for the sixth time and claimed the gold medal in the 400 meter hurdles final 
at the Paris Olympics, repeating her win in Tokyo. Meanwhile, Femke Boll finished third for the bronze. Iron sharpens iron, McLaughlin Lavrone said at Stade de France after both she and Boll won their semifinal heat to qualify for the medal race. It's always fun racing the best, and I know we're going to push each other. When McLaughlin Lavrone went head to head with Boll at the 2024 Paris Olympics final, it was just the third matchup between this generation's two top female hurdlers. McLaughlin Lavrone, the reigning Summer Games champion, has kept breaking the world record over and over. Boll, on the other hand, is the reigning world champ. Some would probably point out that it helped that the American was injured and not there to compete against when she won. Nevertheless, Boll's achievements this year are nothing to scoff at. In addition to the bronze from the 400-meter hurdles, she got gold in Paris with a terrific last leg for the Dutch in the 4x400-meter mixed relay. And so, when she was nominated for the European Athlete of the Year award, it did not come as a surprise. In case you didn't know, Boll has been chosen as the best European athlete for the last two years, and could become the first woman to win the award three times. Could be, was the operative term. Unfortunately for her, at least, it was Sifan Hassan who was voted the best Dutch athlete of the year. Well, that's that. Now, athletes are preparing for the next season. That means back to training. In a recent Instagram post, Bull shared a series of photos. Running, hurdles, smiles, sore muscles, all is good, she wrote. In the pictures, she can be seen training at the Olympic Training Center, along with teammates Nadine Weiser, Binna Brock, and Nick Smith. Notably, Bull began her preparations for the 2025 season earlier this month. She shared a picture of herself with teammate Lee Marvin Bonavazia on Instagram, captioning the post, Back to work. The backdrop indicates that the two-time world champion started her training in the woods. Sydney is probably hard at work too, even if there are no pictures online to prove it. But there's something else that keeps her busy as well. She previously spoke about competing in the Grand Slam Track League, launched by Michael Johnson and scheduled for 2025. To hear Michael Johnson tell it, track is the greatest sport you don't yet know you love. There's been a big void in the marketing of track and the profile of track over the last several decades, Johnson said. It's popular at a very high level every four years during the Olympics, then falls out significantly in between, so the vision is to elevate the sport. Sydney supports the idea, obviously. Among the athletes who have already committed to the tour are four-time Olympic champion Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone, one 500-meter gold medalist Cole Hawker, two-event bronze medalist Grant Fisher, Brazil's Alison Dos Santos, a world champion in the 400-meter hurdles, and Olympic champions Quincy Hall, Marilidi Paulino, and Masai Russell. Organizers of the athletics series founded by four-time Olympic champion Michael Johnson recently announced that the new four-meet Grand Slam track circuit will culminate in Los Angeles in late June next year. Here's what other athletes are up to now.